Okay, let us introduce and start the family webinar today. So I'm going to introduce everybody or let them introduce themselves. Polo, hello, welcome. How are you? Hello, welcome. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, good afternoon. Very good. Thank you, Sarah. I'll be good representing good. Yucatan today. We'll be traveling to Yucatan. Brilliant. Okay. We're looking forward to this. Your slides look super amazing. Um, and your price today, Polo? So it's a £50 voucher, uh, Amazon voucher. Or oh, it's Super equivalent in US dollars. So. Excellent. Thank you very much. We've also got Luke. Luke, we've not seen you for a long time. Hello. How are you, Sarah? Um, good to see you. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good afternoon um, to everybody. Uh, I'm Luke. I am the business development manager for Blue Diamond Resorts. And today I'll be talking to you about the amazing Planet Hollywood in Costa Mujeres in Cancun. Super. Thank you very much, Luke. And your prize? It's fifty pounds, fifty dollars, fifty euros, depending on whoever wins. Um, Perfect. Yeah. Thank you very much. And um, we've also got Victoria. Victoria, hello. Hi. Good afternoon. Good morning, everybody. Um, I'm Victoria from Paradise Promotions, and today I'm going to be telling you all about Turks and Caicos and the amazing properties that make up the Heartland Group, which is the Sands, the Palms, and the Shore Club. And my prize today is a fifty-pound Amazon gift voucher. Super, dollars, I suppose, if it's won by somebody that's in the US. Super, thank you very much. Okay, so I'm going to hand over to Luke. Luke, you're going to start us off in Mexico with the super amazing Planet Hollywood Cancun. So over to you. Thank you very much, Sarah. Thank you for the introduction. Just going to share my screen. We always get this bit wrong. There we go. Can we all see my screen OK? Fantastic. Thank you very much. So thank you very much, everybody, for jumping on to today's webinar. Um, I'm so happy that I can jump on and talk to you guys for 15 minutes about the amazing Planet Hollywood in Cancun. Um, we do have a couple of properties which fall under Planet Hollywood, which we which we have the franchise for now. Um, so Planet Hollywood in Cancun is our biggest selling. And we also have the Planet Hollywood in Costa Rica as well as uh, we are going to be expanding the Planet Hollywood brand. Uh, we between us, uh, we have spoken to Disney uh, about trying to get a Planet Hollywood in the Disney program. That's very much completed now. Um, so watch this space. And we are looking at other Caribbean areas as well, i.e. Jamaica and other parts of the Caribbean. So again, watch this space. Um, but what we're talking about today, because it is a family uh, webinar um, and to showcase, obviously, how family orientated our uh, Planet Hollywood in Cancun is. First couple of key selling points really about Planet Hollywood in Cancun is uh, we are very family orientated. Otherwise, I wouldn't be here today. Um, what makes this family orientated is we've got children's clubs from the age of four to 12. And we also have teen clubs from the age of 13 to 17. We give everybody staying with us complimentary Wi-Fi and you get that throughout the whole of the resort. So if you're on the beach, around the bar, um, you know, in your rooms, in the lobby area, absolutely anywhere, you will get that complimentary Wi-Fi and the signal is strong, whether you are in those locations. Um, you know, it, it's 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 a fantastic internet um connection there for you. Um, our rooms, our rooms are very modern. Uh, we've gone with the Alexis in your rooms, we've got USB charging stations in your rooms, we've got um satellite television uh, where you can order room service from your TV. So very technical when we get down to our TV options. Um, also as well, um, you've got a mini bar which is replenished every single day with international branded drinks. We can tailor make your mini bar. So let's say you don't drink alcohol, absolutely fine, let us know and we can tailor make your mini bar to whatever you want it to be. We also offer something called online room selector. We are the only hotelier in the world to offer this. So you make your reservation for your customers and your customers then can go to planethollywoodresorts.com and actually pre-book their room before they travel. Now it does come with a small surcharge. So your lead and room category will start at 60 US dollars, six zero, to pre-book that room. OK, so all you need is the booking reference, the date of arrival and the surname of that customer. And you're able to go on and do that. Absolutely fine. Restaurants, all of our restaurants are reservation free. 
And what that basically means is it's a first come first serve, unless you are our star class member, which I'll touch base on in a second for you. Um, but it is literally, we open our a la carte restaurants from 6 p.m., last sitting at 9.30, first come first serve. If you are in a queue, please don't queue. Go up to the person who is checking you in and you can ask for a pager. You can then take yourself off to the nearest bar, have a drink, and then your pager will flash to let you know that your table is now ready for you. And the other thing what we have is something called sports events guarantee. So if you want to find the sports bar, we guarantee that any major sporting event will guarantee to be on in that sports bar. So just an overview of what the property looks like. Like I say, it's a beachfront location in the area of Costa Mujeres. Uh, we are a large property, as you can see, it's over a thousand rooms. But we have obviously all your facilities on site in one place. So you've got your football, basketball, tennis courts going on. We've got the Lazy River. Uh, we've got the Flow Rider. We've even got a nine hole mini golf course on site as well. As you get into the lobby, this is how you are greeted. Uh, if you have seen the film Fast and Furious, you will notice that the green car on your screen now is actually Paul Walker's car, what he had in Fast and Furious, the first film. And you are greeted to this amazing TV sort of strobe uh, on, on the ceiling here. Um, and you also have amazing um, sort of movie memorabilia as well, which you can take photos of and pose with and put it on your Instagram if you wanted to. So absolutely amazing. And what a way to be greeted when you walk into this amazing property. And you might even find a... A character from your favourite films or two uh, when you arrive in resort as well. Star Class, as I've mentioned, is our premium upgrade. So here you get your own area, you get your own private part of the beach, your own pool area, but here's where you get your premium service. So you get upgraded rooms, um, you also get butler service when you're here, and you get the premium drinks. As I mentioned just on a couple of slides ago, um, our restaurants are reservation free. However, if you are a star class guest, you can actually make reservations to all of our a la carte restaurants. This is the only way you can do that. We've got lots of choices when it comes down to your room categories. So we've got anything from our standard junior suite, ocean view, swim out rooms, our enterad suites are our family suites. We've got one and two bedroomed director suites and two and three producer suites. And just to give you an overview of what those rooms look like, this is the ocean view. This is the entourage suites with the partition, which is a double sofa bed. And this is one of our views from our swim out rooms there. So lots of choices when it comes down to room categories. An area called Crave is where we've put all of our restaurants. Uh, I'm sure the US guys on the call today will know Guy's Burger Joint. We have this as part of our all inclusive and we've actually got 11 restaurants to choose from. One being buffet, 10 being a la carte. And we have anything from Tipinyaki to our steakhouse, Mexican, Italian, Indian, obviously Guy's Burger Joint, which we've already covered and our sports bar as well. So plenty of choices when it comes down to your food options in resort. We do not cap, by the way, how many times you go to our a la carte restaurants. So if you're staying with us for 14 nights, you can use the a la carte restaurants as many times as you like throughout that 14 night duration. Drinks, we have nine bars on site, anything from our pool bars um, to our beach bars, our sports bar. We've even got our own uh, coffee house on site as well, which is also part of the all inclusive. That isn't me before you ask. I wish it was. Um, but we do have a fully equipped gym called Pumped. And we've got classes and things like that as well going on. So we do do the things like spin class. We do the boot camps on the beach. And we're just to relax after you've done all of that working out, you can take yourself to our world-class spa, which is our pH spa, where we've got a hydrotherapy pool there too. Now, this is what makes it really family orientated. This particular property is our experiences on site. So we have actually got our Planet Play, which is a trampoline park. It's absolutely incredible. I was lucky enough to be here in December. Uh, I even had a go at it. And yes, it's amazing. I was like a big child myself. 
Um, so yes, take advantage of our Planet Play. Unfortunately, it isn't part of the all-inclusive, and this is just some of the prices here um, for a day pass for your child, whether you want 30 minutes, 60 minutes, etc., on all of our different experiences in Planet Play. We also have two splash parks, one based on Jurassic Park and one based on the Pirates of the Caribbean. Uh, there's your Jurassic Park one with the uh, with the dinosaur in the water. And also there's Captain Jack Sparrow himself. Children absolutely love these splash parks. We've got the Flow Rider. So anybody who's daring enough, even the big children can have a go on the Flow Rider if you want to do so. And we've got our Lazy River. And just on the left hand side here, you'll see our cave bar. Yes, we have put a bar on the Lazy River. How dangerous is that? But how exciting at the same time. And this is just an overview again of what them two splash parks look like. We have a cinema. Cinema is part of the all-inclusive and it's got 76 seats and we host all the latest films, including classics and all your family, or, um, family uh, animation films as well. And to choose from. And again, there's set times to watch all these different films and you'll see that listing um, outside um, of the cinema. Um, so yeah, please take advantage of that. We have our own Planet Hollywood shops. So if you want to buy some memorabilia, just like the t-shirt I'm wearing today, uh, any key rings, things like that, you can also do so from our Planet Hollywood shop. And don't forget, if you do go to Planet Hollywood to have your picture taken on our star, uh, I was lucky enough to do this for the first time in December, which is absolutely amazing. Um, and this is definitely an Instagram picture moment. Um, we are part of the My Booking Rewards platform. So we do um, basically reward you uh, with any bookings that you log. Unfortunately, it is for UK and we've got a European um reward program none for the us unfortunately at the moment or canada um, but we are in the process of getting that sorted asap so just uk and europe at the moment where you can earn up to 20 pounds per booking logged and i just want to say thank you for your time and finish off with a quick video just to highlight the slides we've just gone through please enjoy thank you for your time Thank you very much, Lou. Great video. Um, I'm sure we'll all be requesting a copy of that for social media very shortly. Absolutely. If you need it, just let me know. OK, we have got a couple of questions that are in chat for you, but I've just asked everybody to put them in the Q&A so it's easier for you to answer. Um, yeah. So we're now leaving uh, Planet Hollywood and we're moving across to Polo. Polo, hello. Hello. Hello again. Can you hear me? We can hear you. Perfect. Excellent. Thank you very much, Sarah. Thank you, everyone. Again, my name is Polo. I am the Europe representative for the state of Yucatan. And so we will be traveling not far from where Luke was just a, bit, uh, a couple of minutes ago. So we're traveling west uh, in the Yucatan Peninsula. 
Um, so praise yourselves. Uh, my presentation is quite long. I'll be uh, quite quick, but I will be available anytime if you need uh, to go deeper into the presentation. I'm very happy to do a bespoke presentation later on as well if you need and go into the details as well. So to, today will be a big, uh, quick overview of the state of Yucatan. So basically, where are we located? We are located in the Yucatan Peninsula, of course. The Yucatan Peninsula is form of three states. So the state of Quintana Roo to the left. Uh, that's the Mexican Caribbean, basically, with Cancun and all those places there. We are right in the center, in, at the heart of the um, of the Yucatan Peninsula. That is the state of Yucatan. Uh, we um, are connected, basically, through this through the airport, uh, Cancun Airport. But we also have um, an airport, an international airport in the capital city of Yucatan, which is called Merida. Um, and uh, so that's another way to get there directly from the US or through Mexico City as well, uh, from the UK and from Europe as well. The state is divided uh, in six regions. We will browse these six regions very quickly today. So uh, the region that you see there on the on the right hand side, the red region, is the one that is probably the most uh, popular with um, tourists that are normally staying in the Mexican Caribbean, who travel to that region um, to discover uh, some places that we will uh, see today. So this is another map as well, just to show you how easy it is to um, navigate uh, throughout the state. We have a very good uh, road uh, network, uh, which makes um, um, traveling very easy uh, between the different uh, destinations in the state. It can be a self-drive or also through any uh, local tour operator or, uh, as well. And by the end of this year, we will have a train that will be connecting uh, Cancun, basically, with many destinations uh, up to, on the left, uh, the capital city of Merida, and then further uh, to the to the south of that uh, place so it'll be even easier to uh, get into many places in quite nice uh, hotel uh, options there we have uh, most of the hotels are located um, around Merida, the capital city, south of Merida as well, but also in many other places throughout the state. So very easy to just uh, base in a, a town or a city in the state of Yucatan and travel around. So Yucatan, very quickly, it's uh, not only uh, Mayan culture, it's obviously the, uh, the heart of the Mayan culture in Mexico. It's also a very long uh, coastline for almost 400 kilometers of coast uh, that go to the uh, to the north to the gulf of mexico with very very interesting beaches as well uh, very warm weather of course as in the rest of the of the peninsula it is a very historical place some facts and figures here it's a place where uh, the mayan civilization um, uh, flourished a long time ago but it still uh, is present there with a living mayan culture which is one of the highlights especially for families to discover for those families who want to discover uh, that cultural side of Mexico as well. It's a place where a long, long time ago, the um, meteor, meteorite, I don't know how to pronounce that, but well, the, the big rock uh, came and extinguished the, um, the dinosaurs. So that uh, gave us a very interesting um, area with a lot of uh, what we call cenotes in Spanish, which is these natural swimming pools. Some of them are underground, some of them are open air as well. So that's a very interesting option as well for kids and for families, uh, of course. So as I mentioned before, the most popular region is the one that is at the east, closer to the Mexican Caribbean. That's where um, it, you probably know that name Chichen Itza, the archaeological site, one of the biggest archaeological sites in the region is located. It's very popular for day trips from the coast, but what I would like to encourage you uh, today is to uh, go beyond the day trip from the Mexican Caribbean and probably organize a holiday with two, three, or even more nights in the state of Yucatan and end up or finish at the Mexican Caribbean with uh, as many nights as you'd like, uh, obviously enjoying the uh, the coast uh, there as well. In this area, we have also the very popular town of Valladolid, which is one of the magical towns that we have in the area. Uh, which is a very uh, well-preserved colonial uh, town with a lot of options for families in terms of cultures, uh, um, a lot of activities as well around there. There's a very nice zoo as well, not far from Valladolid, but basically it's a really good base uh, to many of the uh, 
options that we will see. So Chichen Itza, of course, as I mentioned. So Chichen Itza by day, it's an excellent option for families who want to discover the culture, the Mayan culture, but a very nice option, especially for kids, is the night uh, video mapping that we have in these archaeological sites uh, that is um, open every night at eight o'clock. It's a half an hour uh, show, and it's very interesting with a lot of music and obviously the video mapping on the uh, main uh, pyramid there, which is in this notice that I mentioned before we have up to 3,000 cenotes or discovered cenotes. Some of them, as you can see, are really easy to just jump and and and, and dive. Some of some others are a little bit more um, underground and for experts, but all of them are very fun and very family friendly as well. Uh, so many options around the cenotes as well, as you can see, zip lines in this area, uh, a lot of th things related to cycling and uh, hiking and all sorts of activities and for the parents as well if they want to escape in the night uh, just uh, have a romantic escape in the night as an author, is also a good option like we can see here for a romantic um, dinner as well with the kids uh, uh, staying uh, somewhere else uh, then the second region is in the north so the coast as i mentioned before we have also a coast here which is also very very nice it's a coast that is quite different from mexican caribbean in this area, we only have smaller boutique hotels, um, family-friendly boutique hotels. Most of them are um, family-run and um, really interesting for encounters with nature, um, sighting of uh, reptiles and flamingos. It's a very popular activity in this area as well. Uh, that is called Rio Lagartos, which is a natural reserve, which can be also interesting. We have some activities like this one, a traditional Mayan bath, which is uh, this bath um, that is, uh, yes, very ancient, but also very fun and very nice for the skin. And well, very photogenic, uh, of course, this area. Then the coast on the west side of the state as well. It's also, as I mentioned before, very natural, very uh, um, smaller uh, hotels, uh, family oriented as well. Uh, we have the port of uh, Progreso in uh, area, which is located 30 minutes from the capital city, Merida, uh, where most of the activities in the water can be performed, like uh, kite surfing, surfing, a little bit of surfing. It's not a big waves here, but it's nice for those who want to learn, especially kids who, who want to learn uh, that activity as well. A lot of different uh, activities in the night as well. So night tours, which are very popular to see some interesting animals in the area as well in Discovery. So as you can see, it's more for those want to uh, take their time in, in nature and in cultural areas as well. Uh, then the capital city, Merida, of course, which is a big city, is uh, one of the six uh, biggest city in Mexico, but at the same time, it has a very interesting um, historical center, which is also a colonial uh, center, very beautiful, with a very interesting uh, gastronomical scene. Uh, the state of Yucatan is one of the main destinations for foodies uh, and lovers of uh, and food and you can a very beautiful town with a lot of museums as well so to go uh, for um, discovering uh, the history of Mayans or the history of the big rock I forgot the meteorite I don't know how to pronounce that but I'll learn uh, I'll next time I'll know how to say it uh, but also very historical houses that uh, allow uh, you and your clients to discover uh, the history of this area which is very interesting with a very um, nice um, uh, history around the local plant called Eneken, which is uh, what was um, um, very popular in that area uh, uh, a, few, uh, a couple of uh, centuries ago. Uh, a lot of activities, uh, open air activities as well. There's always something happening in uh, Merida in the center, uh, whether it's uh, dances and uh, interesting uh, cultural activities. Um, for uh, an escape as well, it can be done by the parents, uh, let's say, for uh, going into markets as well, or for the children as well to learn about local uh, ingredients, endemic ingredients, uh, um, and yes, have all these uh, activities as well. And we're moving south of uh, Merida. South of Merida is a place where most of the cenotes are located. So these uh, swimming pools, natural swimming pools, but also the, uh, the biggest concentration of so these old buildings that were um, very, um, in, well, that are very impressive, that are, uh, most of them are converted into luxury, uh, luxury hotels. Uh, so it's 
there where you can find that as well. Uh, also, we have some towns like this one, the town of Isamal, that will be connected with that train that I mentioned before as well. Very beautiful town with a very big pyramid is uh, pyramid inside as well, um, where a lot of activities can be done there as well. A lot of cenotes, as I mentioned, up to three thousand cenotes, so you can choose which cenote to do. A very refreshing place to go after a long day in the heat of the uh, archaeological sites and other places. So the haciendas, as I mentioned before, and finally we're going into deep into the let's say the jungle of Yucatan in this area, the Ruta Puk area, which is in the south, bordering the state of Campeche, which is in the south of the peninsula as well, with a lot of archaeological sites as well to discover, to go deep into the Mayan culture, and also what is very interesting in, in this area, well, we have archaeological sites that are less uh, known and less visited than Chichen Itza. We have uh, 19 archaeological sites in this area as well, which are very interesting um, uh, visits as well. And of course, we have another uh, UNESCO World Heritage, as well as Chichen Itza, which is the uh, archaeological site of Uxmal, uh, which is one of the largest as well, and also offers a uh, night nice, um, video mapping as well. I forgot to mention in some towns, uh, for example, in Valladolid, have a map uh, available as well, which is another option to visit these places uh, in the by night as well. Some interesting one called Lodge Uxmal, which is next to the archaeological site of Uxmal, where uh, the families can um, discover the hacienda in a Land Rover and see some uh, animals, uh, wild animals, and discover the historical places there. And also very interesting in this area, the encounters with the Mayan uh, people who live in this area, who speak their own language, who are very um, proud of uh, showing to the visitors what uh, they um, um, know about uh, gastronomy, local gastronomy, about cosmology, about uh, all sorts of uh, uh, treatments, wellness as well. So very interesting as well to have this kind of uh, enlightened holiday or I don't know how to, cultural holiday. Uh, these uh, um, uh, communities are located in the south of the of the state as well, very, very accessible by road. Uh, you will stay overnight in some of them as well, or stay in a hotel in Mira, in Valladolid, in Isamal, or in other uh, places, Hacienda as well. Um, some uh, more adventurous activities in this area as well, like caves, caverns, all sorts of uh, um, also um, more extreme, let's say, activities. And basically, in a nutshell, that that's it. it there's a lot to say uh, about Yucatan. We will not. I will not have the time to say everything. It's just a quick overview. But feel free to contact me anytime. I'll be very happy to uh, go a little bit deeper into this. And please follow us on our social media. We are every day updating with uh, new experiences. We have uh, currently a program called 365. Um, experiences in Yucatan. So every day there's a new experience, uh, whether it's a natural or gastronomical, cultural activity, just ideas for you to offer to your clients. Um, so welcome to Yucatan and thank you. Thank you very much. And I'll be here for the questions later if there are any questions. Thank, thank you, Sarah. Paolo. I made it in 15 minutes. <laughs> um, you did. And also meteorite is perfect. A meteorite. Perfect. Thank yeah. you very much. Perfect. <laughs> Um, any questions you've got for Polo, please pop them in the Q&A and he can answer them um, shortly. So big thank you, Polo. Um, some amazing cenotes and things to visit there. So uh, we're now going to hop over to a different part of the Caribbean. Victoria, over to you. OK, thank you so much. Right. I'm going to share my screen. And then I'm going to move. So it doesn't look quite so messy there. So hopefully everybody can see that okay. Yep, fabulous. Okay, so I'm gonna take you all over to Turks and Caicos today. And apologies for my first slide because it's a bit boring, but I wanted to just run through with you exactly where Turks and Caicos is um, in the Caribbean. Uh, and just let you all know as well that it is a British territory. So, um, if you have a look on the map on the left hand side, you can see whereabouts I'm circling it now with my little cursor. So that's where the islands of Turks and Caicos are. So our closest neighbours would be Domrep and Haiti. And then if you come over to the other map, then you can see that Turks and Caicos is almost like lots of little islands. And we've got South Caicos and then we've got East Caicos, Middle Caicos, North Caicos and then Provincialis. Now, they at the moment you have to 
um, go between the islands by boat. They are looking to see if they can do something a bit more um, creative to join them up. But at the moment, it would be boat, which is actually lovely because you get to see the islands from a really different perspective as well. In terms of flying in, you would fly into Provincialis. That's where the international airport is. And from the UK, we're very fortunate that we have the uh, BA flight, which is not a direct flight, but you do stay on the plane. That's a Thursday and a Sunday. And that goes via Bahamas. So it is a longer flight. But coming from on the 15th of November, we're going to have a direct flight on Virgin, which is super exciting. That will be twice a week. I think it's um, Wednesday and Saturday. So that will be a fabulous new addition. And it will make it so much easier to get your clients over to um, Turks and Caicos. So I'm going to start with the sand. So basically within Provincialis, we have three properties. So it's a very, very quick transfer. And the first of the three properties I'm going to tell you about is called the Sands. It's a four star property and it's situated in Grace Bay. Now, Grace Bay as an area you can walk out into. Uh, it's easy to get hire a car and drive around. I think it's quite a lot like Barbados. Um, there's a big emphasis on fine dining. There's loads of cafes. There's lots of restaurants. There's great shopping. There are supermarkets which are affiliated to Waitrose as well. So you can get all of the products that you would get at home. Um, in terms of the accommodation style at the Sands, um, we have residences, uh, but we can lock off and just give you a room. So you could have a one bedroom room, but for families, it's perfect because it's self catering. So all of the rates would be on room only. And we have a lovely restaurant called Hemingway's. So you can go to the restaurant and have breakfast, lunch or dinner if you want to. Or you can go to the supermarket, get some food, self cater. You could also um, have a chef come in and cook for you if you wanted to do something like that. And there's also a grocery store on property. So you can get some of the basic things that you might want, drinks, crisps, that kind of thing um, and other snacks. So they have a fabulous beach and the beach of Grace Bay actually comes out onto the, the world's third largest reef. So it's fabulous for diving. Uh, if you've got families where the children dive already or they want to learn how to dive, it would be perfect. It's great for water sports and activities. It has a lovely pool area as well that kind of meanders right the way through the property. So there's a lot to do. Um, in the area and a fabulous base to explore it all. And they also have these lovely bikes, which you can just take the bikes and you can cycle around the Grace Bay area. Um, and that's complimentary. So if I move up a little bit away from the sands, I'm going to take you to the Palms. Now, this is our five star property. It's again, it's next. Well, it's just up uh, on the same beach of Grace Bay. So again, you've got that reef, which is amazing. Um, it's slightly more luxurious in the decor. So this is the lobby that you come into. Um, this is where you're meted and there's a full concierge team here as well. In terms of restaurants, they have um, a restaurant around the pool area, which is called The Plunge. That's kind of between the pool and the beach. They have a fabulous fine dining restaurant called Parallel 23, which is lovely. I was fortunate enough to eat there um, when I was last out and it is really lovely. But they've got loads of lovely pockets of places to eat as well. And if you've got bigger families or family groups coming together, it's perfect. And they've all, it's also great for weddings as well. So if you had families that wanted to do a wedding with all the different types of accommodation style um, and the restaurants and the location, it would it is a perfect location for weddings as well. Um, this slide just shows you some of the accommodation. So again, we could lock off a room and give you a lead in room category, or you can go right the way up to the um, penthouse suite. So the suites and the residences all have the kitchen facility. So it's a full kitchen. Um, all the bedrooms have got ensuite bathrooms. You have these gorgeous verandas as well that look out over the ocean. So there is there is a huge number of different room categories that you can choose from. So you really can find something for all of your clients. And then we have an amazing spa at the Palms as well, which is really gorgeous. And it, when I looked around it, it really, really reminded me of the Coral Reef Spa, actually. It has the same kind of vibe. So loads of little areas where you can hide away after your treatments, um, lots of water features. So it feels really relaxing um, and they do all the treatments and they have the nails as well. So you can have your nails done in the nail spa. 
Um, so this just shows you the beach and the pool, um, but really kind of just to show you that the picture in the center, you can see some tables and chairs. So you can, if you're eating, you can eat around here as well. And then you've got the pool area and then you've got this gorgeous beach. And then the last slide just shows you the beach. And I just can't get across, if you're used to going to the Caribbean and you're used to seeing you know, places like Barbados, Antigua, St. Lucia, which are gorgeous, um, the whiteness of the beaches in Turks and Caicos will just blow your mind. It is amazing. And it, it's like the Maldives in terms of the white sand. So really gorgeous um, and lovely water. It's very calm, calm, so you can walk out into the sea and swim here really easily. And then we're going to go around the corner now to an area called Long Bay. And this is where we have the Shore Club. Um, the Shore Club is a fabulous product. It has both a resort element to it and it also has villas to it as well. So again, absolutely perfect for families. Um, the first pictures on the slide here just show you the lobby area. So as you approach and you come in, you have this spectacular lobby that opens up in front of you that has a concierge service as well. So all of your treatments um, or any excursions can be arranged for you. Again, there is a shop um, so you can get the basics from the grocery store and you can also buy some very beautiful and very expensive clothes and jewelry and shoes and hats and bags and things like that. Um, they have three pools. They have an adults only pool. Uh, this is the main pool area, which is a great pool for families. You can rent the cabanas, which are all the way around the pool. So if you've got families with small children and they need to have um, some shade or just somewhere to base themselves and put all of their armbands and all of the paraphernalia that you have when you have young children, then that they're really, really useful. Um, the pool has got these kind of very lovely, luxurious kind of Love Island style um, cabana areas where you can just sit and relax and, and the chairs and things. In the center of the pool, they've actually got a fire pit. So people swim in the pool all day and all evening and into the night as well. And you can just about see down in the bottom, um, we, this is the side of the rope bar, which I'm gonna tell you about in a second. So you can eat around the pool as well if you want to. Um, and so this is the pool at night time and that's in you walk out to this island and that's where the fire pit is. And then this is the rope bar. So during the day you can get kind of burgers and chips and things around the rope bar. And then in the evening it becomes a really lovely social spot. Um, and that's an area where people congregate as well. And but then they can kind of go back to the pool and enjoy the pool area. They have other restaurants on property as well. This is um, Surin, which is the sushi restaurant, which is amazing. Um, when I arrived and I was absolutely shattered because I'd had a really, really long day and they were I was walking to my room and they were kind of saying, oh, this is these are the restaurants. And it smelled so good that I had planned just to have room service. And I literally dropped my bags, washed my hands and went down and sat and just had a really lovely glass of Whispering Angel and some sushi. And it was just oh, it was amazing. So um, I really recommend the sushi restaurant. There's also another restaurant called The Almond, which is beautiful they've they've it's a courtyard style and they've bought trees in which have just taken so well and created a beautiful natural canopy and they've hung fairy lights on them and it's real wholesome food um, so that is another another lovely spot to be able to eat at and then in terms of the rooms so, so they have two kind of towers if you like which have residences where they can lock off one or two rooms so they can actually rent the rooms out that they lock off so you could have a lead in garden view room, which is beautiful, um, right the way up to the room that you can see on the screen now is actually the executive penthouse. Uh, and you can have this penthouse and then there's another penthouse on the other side on the same floor. So you could have the lift programmed just to uh, for the people on this floor so they could have this um, residence and the other penthouse as well and then have make it a five bedroom but this is absolutely stunning and what I love which I'm sure you're seeing on the screen as well is that really beautiful turquoise sea is coming through so outside of those accommodations they have six six bedroom villas which are incredible they're um 11,000 square foot and the one what's wonderful about the villas is you can have all of the facilities that you want in the resort so you've got the concierge you've got the 
um, the shop, you've got a wonderful spa, you've got the restaurants, you've got the pool and you've got that buzz and all of that social life that you can gravitate towards if you want to from your villa. But equally, if you want totally autonomy and you don't want to see anyone and your family just want to have your own space and your own unit, and perhaps you've got other family members flying in from different parts of the world and you just want to really absorb yourself and your family in your own space, you can um, drive into the car park. It goes underneath the property and you can literally just not see anybody else. You can drive straight in, get out of your car, go into your, your door. There's a lift from the basement that takes you straight up into the villa. So you can, and that lift would then go through the first and second floor for the, for the accommodation, the bedrooms as well. So you have the best of both worlds and you can really decide which way you want to play it. But as you come into the villa at the back, you've got this amazing, lovely private a pool which has got um, like a plunge pool area as well and this lovely courtyard and then you go into the villa this is the back end of the villa here and you go in and downstairs it opens up and you've got um, the, the room on the right that you can see on here that's your kind of studio room where you can you can watch movies you can play music you can just chill out and then you've got this wonderful staircase that goes upstairs and then it you walk through and it opens up into this beautiful living kitchen dining area obviously that we have butlers of course you can have somebody come in and cook for you and then as you walk out of the other side of the villa you have this lovely pathway that just takes you down to the beach and the beach again is absolutely beautiful um the sand is so white and that everybody has access to the water sports and the beach no matter whereabouts you're staying on property but if you're coming out of your villa you have your own private pod of water sports equipment um, and there's somebody there to make sure that you've got everything you want um this the sea at um long bay stretches out it's very it's shallower and it stretches out for far far longer than it does at grace bay um if there's a little bit of a wind then they'll run kite surfing lessons on the beach which is fabulous for families um at all the properties we do family photo shoots as well so if you've got families coming over and they really want to galvanize all the memories that they're making together we can have a professional team come in or they can do little videos so you've got little vignettes um, of things as well so all together it's absolutely a dream and and really a fabulous place to go and I think it's somewhere that people are really going to start thinking about and putting on their bucket list um, in terms of who you can book through, um, we are talking to all of the UK tour operators at the moment. So I'm hoping that in the next few weeks, I'll be able to send out details of the tour operators that you can book through. Um, so that would hopefully be Carib Tours, Carrier, ITC, Elegant Resorts, all of those. But that will come shortly. Um, we're also just about to switch on with Donata, so you would be able to book through Gold Medal as well. If you've got any inquiries or any interest, please just reach out to me um, and I will definitely find a way for you to be able to make those bookings now. So that's my that's my last slide, but I have got a short video um, which just shows you the villas at the Shore Club. So I think I'm going to stop share. Oh, Sarah's already done it. Look, she's amazing. So she's going to play the video for you now.
super couldn't get my video working then was that playing okay yeah it's brilliant thank you so much appreciate that super. okay so yeah some great products there um let's see what questions we've got coming in um virginia's asked um are both the properties wedding orientated Vic? yes definitely we can do weddings at all of the three properties brilliant um people want the video so would you be able to email the video when you do the follow-up yes i will and i've got a video that combines the shore club and the palms so i'll get that video out as well so absolutely and links to images okay um esther has asked your slide again with your information vic could you just share that the last page yeah do you want to do that now yeah i think i kicked you off a little bit too early thank you when i was the video <laughs> um hang on i have to remember how to do it it's not there we go how's that yeah perfect uh victoria us agents who do they book through do you know uh any of the tour operators over there um i don't but i know that they have a rep in the usa so what i will do is i will share the details for everybody so that the us rep can follow up with you and i'll also put a note on my follow-up of who that person is um and how they can book brilliant thank you very much um are any of the results all inclusive no um they're not so they I don't think there's any is there apart from sandals in turks yeah be well breaches beaches i wanted to say breezes i think i've just created a whole new resort group <laughs> But yeah, sandals and, and beaches would be, I think, the only two. But um, Turks and Caicos, it really has that Barbados West Coast feel where people go out and not just to other restaurants, but they go out to other hotel restaurants. And there's a really amazing buzz. There's lots of live music and it's it's fine dining right down to there's a fabulous van called Coco Van, which is kind of a, attached to a fine dining restaurant but it's not fine dining so if you don't want to go for the fine dining option you can just go and get you know kind of like cutters and a beer from the van which is really cool okay super um esther's asked does the sands have pools yes it does it does have swimming pools yeah and the and the beach um, so i'm just okay. waiting on the link for images which is why i didn't have as many images for for the sands as i did for the others Luke, you mentioned Planet Hollywood at Disney. Which resort is this for? We don't know yet. We don't know yet. It's not It's not been leaked yet. We've just been told we are 90% complete to get a Planet Hollywood in downtown Disney. It's the only thing I've been told within the Disney programme. Okay, super. Um, Alison's asked a question, but Alison, can you um, tell us what you mean? Because you put pricing, is it pounds? I'm not sure what it's relating to okay just wait for it to respond okay right let's just start she can follow up with whoever it's relating to um at a point and Shanice said, I think she means, is it inexpensive? Mm, let's see. Alison, um, if you can just let us know uh, by reaching out to one of the, whoever it was aimed at, just so that we know. Okay, big thank you everybody for um, the super amazing presentation. So if you can stop sharing your screen now, yeah. uh, Victoria, I think everybody's got that. And if everybody can go to chat, we're going to make sure we'll do the time of the day where we see who's been listening so every single person on the webinar is entered into the prize draw if you are the first with the fastest finger to answer correctly you'll get 10 entries into the prize draw so i'm going to ask um luke first of all what is your question today please my question is this is where people start guessing before i've even asked the question into yeah my question is i have to say it quick <laughs> You saw a car in the lobby. Who did it belong to? The actor's name. Ooh, that was quick. Oh. Very, very quick. That was very quick. So that was Hannah. Hannah Wilson. Well done, Hannah. Congratulations. So, Polo. 
If you can unmute yourself, you're muted at the moment. Yes, yes. My question, uh, it'll be a very easy one. Well, hopefully. Uh, if you could name uh, uh, an archaeological site other than Chichen Itza, uh, located in Yucatan, any any archaeological sites uh, uh, that is not uh, Chichen Itza. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, so I've got Tulum. I don't... Does that count? No, Tulum, that's in the uh, neighboring states of... of okay, Merida, Merida. No, Merida, that's the name of the capital city of uh, Yucatan. Chichen Itza is, is... No, Koba is in the neighboring state of uh, Quintana Roo. Sorry. In Go it's, uh, Iguna? Let me see. Where, where? Iguna, no, that's not... Uh, Cenote? No, 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 Cenote, that's the... Uxmal, Corina. I've got no. uh, main ruins, cool, cool no, castle. we have, uh, uh, sorry, Corina Woman. Uxmal. Uxmal, Uxmal yes. <laughs> sorry, it was not as easy. <laughs> no problem. So, Corina, you've got the entry for that one. And last but not least, Victoria. Okay, so I said there were two ways of flying into Turks and Caicos with a new direct flight starting. Oh my gosh, I haven't even asked the question. Um, and yeah, I was going to ask what was the date the direct flight on Virgin is starting, which is, by the way, bookable now, so you can package already. Um, so Shanice had said the 15th of November, is that that's correct? That's right, yeah, that's right, the 15th of November. And that was while well, you'd not even... That was even before I, I, people are just preempting. <laughs> they're getting into my mind. <laughs> Excellent. Um, so a big, big thank you um, to Victoria, Luke and Polo for the super presentations. I will send a follow up with a copy of the recording. If you've got any further questions, please reach out to them. And a big thank you for coming and joining us today on the family webinar. Keep sending all your bookings these guys' ways. Thank, thank you, you, everybody. See you Thanks all everyone. soon. Thank you. Take care. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you.